welcome to my first YouTube video. It's really weird saying that, but also exciting at the same time. <laughs> so on my Instagram, I put a question sticker on my story and I basically asked you all to leave a question that you'd like me to answer for this video. So this video is basically going to be a get to know me video and I hope you enjoy. Let's get on with the So the first question is, what's your favourite things to eat? So this is quite a hard one. Um, I feel as though I need to like make a whole separate video dedicated to things I eat. But if I had to narrow it down to two things, I'd probably say a roast dinner on a Sunday and pasta. Because I don't think you can really go wrong with pasta. I mean, I love it. So... Question two is, what's your favourite cocktail? I want to say Sex on the Beach, but then I also really love Tequila Sunrise. Can I have two favourites? I think so. So... My favourite cocktails are Sex on the Beach and Tequila Sunrise. So the next question is, what's your favourite going out outfit? I don't really have one. Um, I like to mix it up a lot. So say if I went out on a Tuesday and I wore a dress and then I went out on a Friday, I wouldn't like stick to wearing a dress all the time. So, like, I'd mix it up with, like, one day wearing a dress, the next, maybe, like, a nice skirt, a nice top, some heels, or even a play suit. But, yeah, I definitely don't have a favourite going out outfit. I just, just mix so it up. So, the next question is, what am I grateful for? So, right now, because, obviously, with this whole pandemic situation going on, it's quite hard for a lot of people because obviously you can't just like go see your friends you can't see family members like your nan and granddad your aunt your uncle and you can't just like go out when you want and I feel as though that's quite like it has quite a big impact on your mental health so what am I grateful for Definitely the NHS, good health, being able to spend time with my mum and dad. Yeah, just being with family, really. What's my favourite place I have visited? So, anyone who knows me knows I have a massive soft spot for Zanti. So, while I'm editing this video... I'd just like to point out that my lashes just really didn't want to play ball today and trust me they're annoying me as well <laughs> like I go every year I've been going there since I was six with like my parents my nan my granddad yeah like it's definitely my favorite place but I do like travelling as well, so I like going to new countries and just exploring what they're like, their different cultures. Yeah. So, me and my friend are actually going to Spain in September. Fingers crossed. Because we've both never been there before. We both really want to go. We're both so excited. So, I just really hope we can go. But... Yeah. Yeah. What are my career aspirations? So, from a very young age of like seven or eight, I have always, always wanted to be cabin crew. Because I love travelling the world. I love getting to see new places. And I just think, like, what better way to do it? So, yeah, my career aspirations is definitely to become a cabin crew. What has made me want to start being a YouTuber? So, this is something I've 
always, always wanted to do, but I've never actually had the confidence to do it. Like, I always think, oh, that doesn't look right. Like, my voice sounds horrible. No one will watch it. But thinking about it, like, what's the point in, like, saying, oh, I'm not going to be good at this, I'm not going to be good at that, because how do you know if you don't do it? So, yeah, like, I just thought, I'm just going to do it, and, yeah. <laughs> How do you deal with being so positive, even though you've had a tough past? So, this is something I've always been quite open about. Because I know a lot of people who have been through a similar situation to me don't like to tell people, they like to keep it inside, they like to keep it to themselves. But for anyone who doesn't know, I was adopted when I was six. Um, so, when I was first adopted, it was really, really hard. Um, I went through stages of being really upset, being quite angry because I didn't really know at that age what was going on and like I love my parents like love them more than anything but when I was around that age like I'd say between six to twelve obviously when you're that age you don't really understand like it's hard to process it yourself. So I think where I didn't really understand a lot, I used to take my aggression out on my parents. And yeah, like it was just a really difficult time for me. But now I've got older, I understand it more. I know why, I know like why things happened the way they did, if that makes sense. So, like, how do I deal with being so positive? Like, it just got to that stage where I was fed up of, like, being so angry, being so hurt. And I just had to think of ways to, like, occupy myself. So, like, i do things that made me happy. Like, go out with my friends, go for a meal, do some shopping. Just anything that made me happy, really. But, yeah, that's how I stay positive. Okay, can we just clock my roots right now Jenny if you're watching this I miss you I miss our combos I need my head on ASAP please open up again soon love you do you want kids yes I do but definitely not till I'm like 25 26 I just couldn't imagine myself with a kid right now. <laughs> it's quite a scary thought, actually. But yeah, I definitely do want kids in the future. But yeah. What type of content will you post and how frequent? So, I don't know really. Like, at the moment, because obviously this is my first video, Q&A, kind of things like this, like, Maybe some like makeup tutorials, some hauls like shopping hauls, fashion hauls, just things like that. But yeah, and as for how frequent, right now, because obviously I've only just started probably maybe once a week. And like when my channel starts growing, maybe like bump up to maybe twice a week, something like that. Bath or shower? This is quite difficult. I love both. Like, I love waking up in the morning, just jumping in the shower and just getting on with the day. But at the same time, like, if I've had a long day, say I'm at work 
and I've had a long day. I love to just come home, run a nice hot bath, loads of bubbles, maybe a bath bomb, and just chill. So, I don't know, probably both. So that's all the questions I'm going to answer today. Thank you all so much for posting your questions and I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to keep updated with all my latest videos. Thank you all so much. Bye.